news service of Safira Radio. Today is Monday, July 3rd. On this day, but in 1748, the opera theatre, Operalnia, was opened in the Saxon Garden in Warsaw. On the other hand, in 1880, the first edition of the American science magazine, Science, founded by Thomas Alva Edison, was published. On July 3, 1923, Margaret Susan Ryder, a British charity activist, was born. She led her namesake International Charity Foundation until the end of her life. She helped at least 500,000 people of 50 nationalities. She cared for about 300 Silent Unseen Ones, sent to Poland. The Silent Unseen were Polish commandos of the underground Home Army during the Second World War. News Update Yesterday, the 74th Evangelization Week began in Gigilo. The main evangelistic meetings and Sunday services were broadcast on YouTube and Facebook channels belonging to the Mission and Evangelism Center. The event attracted residents and social media users. The seminars were inaugurated with a family service. This week, there will be a lecture, seminars, and concerts as well as activities for children and teenagers. Each year, the Evangelization Week helps to strengthen the faith of Christians from various churches. It is a wonderful event worth recommending to all believers and non-believers. The evangelization retreats titled, New Era of the Church, have ended. The event took place in the Roman Catholic Parish of the Holy Family in ostro wilkopolski City. The session was led by Carol Sobsik, the leader of the Voice in the Wilderness community from Krakow. A new issue of The Evangelical Herald has been released. It brings many reflections and inspirations. The articles touch on various topics concerning faith and the Lutheran Church. Authors encourage considering the meaning of being a Christian. They analyze the story of the prodigal son and suggest how to find the joy of life and relief in love. Readers will also find a description of family services and an article on the EU Directive on Combating Violence. The magazine can be ordered online or through Lutheran parishes. On Wednesday, July 5th, at 11.43, Polish television Canal 2 will broadcast the service concluding the 102nd Annual Conference of the Evangelical Methodist Church in the Republic of Poland. The service will be broadcast from Katowice under the slogan, In God is Life and Our Hope. Yesterday, Rev. Malgorzata Gass, vicar of the Holy Trinity Parish in Warsaw, officially retired. Rev. Gass worked in the parish since 2007, and before that served the community in the Lutheran parish in Szczecin. She was ordained a deacon on June 22, 1986, and a priest on May 7, 2022. She is the first woman in the history of the parish to be ordained a priest and the first female pastor emerita. Parishioners from Warsaw and Szczecin thanked Rev. Malgorzata, and the service was filled with touching memories, prayer, and flowers. Bishops of Slovenia, along with the presiding Bishop Andrzej Sarge, had a working lunch with President Nata Perknizza. The main topic of the conversation was the message from the Dialogue and Peace Forum in the Balkans, which took place recently in Copper. They also discussed the possibility of Pope Francis traveling to Slovenia. The premiere of the movie, Sound of Freedom, which tells about child trafficking and inspires the defense of family and life, is coming soon. The story is based on real events. It focuses on a federal agent who risks his life to free children from the clutches of their captors. The film aims to highlight the issue of human trafficking. Angel Studios is the distributor. Machu Tayyab, a former Muslim, an army officer, has converted to Catholicism. His military service played a significant role in deciding to accept baptism. As a Catholic, he loves God and France. His interest in Christianity grew thanks to encounters with Catholics among his comrades in arms. He asked for baptism and took the name Matthew. His conversion strengthens his faith in the one God and inspires evangelization among Muslims. The Flat Earth Movement, originating from biblical fundamentalists, is gaining popularity in various countries. It is based on pseudoscientific theories and literal interpretation of the Bible. The popularity of the Flat Earth theory mainly stems from the works of Samuel Robotham. The author argues that the Earth is a flat disk. The Pontifical Biblical Commission rejects a literal interpretation of Holy Scripture. It emphasizes that the Bible is primarily the Word of God, not a scientific treatise. Despite observations and scientific evidence confirming the sphericity of the Earth, flat earthers are thriving and growing even in Poland. Finally, news straight out of the American 20s. A nightly prohibition is in effect in the capital of Lesser Poland from midnight to 5.30. The new law bans the sale of alcohol in stores and at petrol stations. The decision was made by the councillors of the city of Krakow. They argue that the ban aims to ensure peace in public places and to limit disorder. What do councillors from other cities think? We will find out soon. This was the news service of Safira Radio. May God bless us all.